good morning, everybody, or good evening, or good afternoon, wherever you are in this wide, wide world. Um, and I do have people that are in other countries, so it's kind of cool, actually. Um, I received my small estate that I said I was going to be getting, and we're going to open it up and see what's in it. Um, the last one I got, as you know, was really, really big. This one is not, but... We're going to see what it is and I'm going to stop you a second and move this box over there's not a lot of room it's a big box well first of all there's all this bubble wrap thank you to who I bought this from because I can use this to package my stuff look at all that bubble wrap oh my gosh oh let's just throw it over there uh, Oh my, there's bags with boxes in them. Let's see what this is. Let's take this first one out. Move this box over. Okay. Wow, what is all the, oh my. Go, go, <laughs> whatever this box is. Oh, it's a bunch of jewelry. Oh. Well, let's see what this is. Oh, it's a little tiny antique pocket watch. It's kind of octagonal instead of round. Isn't that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, eight. Okay. Hey, I'm pretty good. I can count. And there is, let's see the back. It's engraved with someone's initials. For some reason, my room says I don't have enough light today. So I have a... Um, my um, flash came on. So let's see how things look with that. I don't know, there might be a lot of reflection, but can you see the, I don't know who the initials are. And I guess if I opened it up, oh, there's something on the side. I, I'm, I'll open it later and look at it. Let me see, I think it's a wind up. I'm going to wind it and see what happens if I hear a ticking. Oh my gosh, guys, it works. It's ticking. Oh my goodness, it's ticking. It has no name. What does it say down here at the bottom? It says something. Boy, the flash is not doing good, I don't think. It's making a lot of glare, isn't it? I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that. Hang on. Okay. I turn the flash off and I hope we have enough light. It seems like we do. Um, this pocket watch does not have a name. It's very old. I will open it up later and give more information, but it does say down at the bottom, Swiss. Oh, wow, and it has these initials engraved, whatever that says, or some kind of filigree design on the back. So we have a antique pocket watch that works. Oh, Google Lens it too. And what is this? Oh, this is, oh, this is a necklace. I thought it was a bunch of jewel. Oh, what's this? Oh, a, a button. <laughs> is this a button? Yes. Oh, why do I have a button? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyhow, not gonna waste time on a button. I don't think it, it didn't even look old. This is tangled here, but this is just a uh, long, this is just costume, uh, but it's very cool. Look, it has leopard beads <laughs> here and there. How, oh, that's kind of unusual. It's very long. It's about, um, let's see, let's get some room here. Uh, it's about, um, there, get everything organized. Put the little pocket watch back in there. Um, I'd say it's about uh, 32 inches. And it has an extender, but it's tangled up for some reason. I have to get it untangled. Anyhow, that's that box. Let's see. Now, this next box looks like it's open. It doesn't have a lid. Oh, what is this? Can you see that? 
it's a, I think it's a handbag charm. And it says something on the bottom. Let me get the loop. See if we can, no, I don't, I don't have one of those big ones like everybody else has. So I have to look at it. It says sterling. Okay. Well, this is sterling silver. Let me get it up close. Uh, sterling silver. It looks like either a picnic basket or a handbag. I can't quite make it out. This is the handle, and then there's a little, I'm holding on to the loop that attaches it to the bracelet. I wonder if it opens. You know what? I think it does. I don't know. I'll look at that later, too. I'll let you know. Okay. This. What is this? This is a necklace. Oh. What happened? Oh, it's got a... Look at this clasp. Fancy. What is that? Hmm. SC. I bet this is Sarah Coventry. What do you What do you think? Was Was that her early days? Look at the back of this. Isn't that beautiful? That she just used SC, and then later on went to print Sarah Cove and then S Coventry and Sarah Coventry. However much room they had. This is an older one, I think. It's kind of unusual. It's got a little tassel, fringe, whatever you want to call it. And it's got a pink stone and a very pretty back. Look at that back. Wow. And it's long. I'd say it's about 24 to 26 inches long. And it needs, this one's tangled up too at the bottom. Uh, it has a hook. But I, guys, I don't see where it, I'll have to look into this. I don't see where you attach it to. I'll have to investigate that. <laughs> it's so old that probably I don't even, can't even figure it out. Um, okay, oh, going wrong way. Okay, we had this. We had the charm. We have a, oh. <laughs> I can't get this, there's an earring stuff. There's a brooch. And it looks like a fairly old uh, vintage brooch. And I don't, do you see anything? I do not. But I can tell by the finding that it's older. And uh, get that in there. Okay. And it's got a pearl in the middle. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to research and see if I can figure out who that is. Now, oh, we have... No, nothing under the cotton. Okay, just want to make sure. We found a button last time. Okay, two mismatched earrings. Pearl dangle and a, what well, appears to be a silver dangle, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, well, that doesn't help anybody, does it? That doesn't help me. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, there's that one, and there's one more box in this bag. Oh, look at the back. The back says J.C. Penny, and it says Enhancer. Oh, 25, was 25, now 12.99. And I don't know how, old, it's barcode, but I don't know how old that is. And obviously, this isn't the correct box. I bet you anything. I bet you this isn't in it. What would an enhancer be? Oh, definitely not the right box. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, it says genuine crystal though. Oh, maybe the enhancer, maybe it comes off of the pearls. Ah, ah, I, oh yes it does. I see where it comes off. It's an enhancer. You could wear it on anything. You could wear it on a gold chain, uh, and it has matching earrings, or you could wear it on the pearls that come with it. Now let's take it out real quick and look at the back. 
Oh, it has the typical pearl, um, very ornate. Well, I guess it is what it is. And I, I'm guessing it's about 16 inches, it looks like. Just from the, okay. Wow, that's a very, uh, for an, an evening formal event or something. That's pretty cool and it looks real expensive. And um, it says genuine crystal. Wow. And was $25, now $12.99. And who knows how old this is? I don't. Because barcodes have been around for a while. Wow. Okay, that was, there's, I think there's, I don't know how many bags are on here. Okay, look at this one. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, gold and silver. Look at that, look at that detail. It's, it's very, and then it's got black stones. Th oh, three black, black stones at the bottom. And it has a push. I guess I should measure it just for the heck of it. In case anybody's interested in anything, after I put up what I find out about them, I'll put some prices um, when I edit, if anybody's interested, to never never feel like you have to buy something. You know, I don't, whoops, got my magnet stuck on my tape measure. <laughs> Can't get it. Okay, this doesn't, it's a curve, so we're gonna have to go on the curve. Uh, oh, it's, it, yeah, this is hard. <laughs> 16. It looks like I've figured that, figured as much, but it's, um, look at the back of it. I want you to see this. Wow. Look at that. Can you see that? It's pretty heavy too. Oh, I'm going to have to Google Lens this. This is, um, I don't see any writing on it, but it's very difficult to see because there's so much going on uh, between the back and the front. The front is just beautiful. I don't know if you can see it as well as I can, but it, there's gold and silver, in, very intricate design with black. I'll have to check them. This might be onyx. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little frog here this morning that wants to stay with me for a while. Okay, I put it together, and there it is. Wow, that is pretty spectacular. I wonder what that is. Oh, I can't wait to look that up. Look at this. This is an antique kind of box. Oh, it says Hamilton 22 medallion, fully adjusted, shock resistant, lifetime mainspring, anti-magnetic. It says it's a Hamilton watch, let's see, is it? It's a pretty watch. It's like got a gold nuggety kind of, uh... oh, it's not Hamilton. <laughs> It's Seiko. Can you see that? It's Seiko. Huh. Huh. I'll have to check that out. Oh, and it's, look, it's got a safety catch. <laughs> That's an old thing. They don't do that much anymore, do they? You don't see that. So it's not real new. And, um... It doesn't say quartz. Let's see. I don't know if I know how to do this. I know you pull it out to change the time. But I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But that's um, that's pretty. It's not Hamilton. It's in a Hamilton. Oh, maybe the Hamilton box is worth money. I don't know. <laughs> Hamilton, I know, is an old... Old brand. Oh, look, look at this big box. Oh, what is this back here in the corner? <clears throat> oh, it's a 
Oh, it's a stone or boosite. I wonder what that is. It's cold. I wonder, it could be. It's a ring. It's a ring. It has veining in it. Could be. It's all the way around the same thing. There's no metal. And it's a size, um, seven and three quarters to eight. Wow, what do you think that is? I don't know. Tell me in the comments uh, if you have any suggestions as to what that might be, because I don't know. I'm going to have to Google Lens it and use the uh, rock identifier and see if it'll tell me. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, I just knocked you around again. Oh, so sorry. This box is so big. Oh, lordy. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Okay, let's see. What is this? Okay, this is a bracelet. It appears to be rose quartz. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's cold. And it is not stretch. It is a toggle. So it's pearls. Real pretty finding. See the see the design? This oh wow. And a white stone pearl and rose quartz. And it is a size seven and a quarter. So I could wear a seven, a seven and a quarter, maybe even seven and a half. Um, and I don't, this is pretty fancy, the finding, I mean the um, toggle. But I'm guessing that that's silver plate or silver tone. But I, th but I know the stones are, I can tell they're cold, rose quartz. Okay. This is pretty. Look at this brooch. It's very ornate, but yet simple. Uh, oh, look above my thumb. Looks like we're missing a row of pearls. Uh, oh, boy. We're very, I can't see anything in it. Well, we'll get back to that. Oh. <sighs> Unless somebody has some tiny pearls. Um, okay, this is a leaf, gold, brushed gold and shiny gold. Um, I don't know, maybe an oak leaf. Um, oh, here's a, I have to get the loop. It says, there's a name there, designer. Let's see who it is. Giovanni. Does anybody know Giovanni? I don't. Giovanni. I'm going to have to Google that. Um, it's kind of simplistic, but nonetheless, if Giovanni is somebody collectible, it could be worth a little money. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's pretty. When I look at it from far away, it's 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 shiny around the edges too. That's nice. That's pretty. What is this? This is an interesting uh, little um, estate, isn't it? It's part of an estate. This person, like I think I told you in the previous video, was overwhelmed with an estate that they bought. It was so big, and so they decided to just throw some stuff into boxes and sell lots of uh, jewelry for you know a certain amount and, and and you get what you get and that's what I'm getting here I'm getting what I get look at this this is really pretty oh wow look at the little be uh, coins on the bottom or whatever they are and there's a painted flower in the middle and it's on a chain and, oh, it's a barrel clasp. That's nice. And the back, oh, look at the back of it. I wonder if that opens. 
It looks like a locket, doesn't it? I wonder if it's gold. I'm gonna have to test some of this stuff. Oh, and the detail around, around here. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, that's really ornate. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and it's about, um, I'm guessing about, um, well, 16 plus the dangle. So it's probably about 18 to 20 inches long altogether. And this last piece in the box, oh, it just came undone. It's a hook clasp. Uh, well, I'll fix that later. Um, the, you know what this is? This is all wood. It's all carved, handmade. Look at this. Wow. Here, let me uh, hook it back up. I can't do anything anymore. My hands, I swear. <laughs> Anyhow, it's three strands of carved wood. I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm going to do a little more investigating, but it's obviously handmade I think it's yeah, yeah I'm sure it's all wood but what kind of wood that's what we have to find out because it could be some exotic wood okay let's go on to uh, we have um, a box and a bag what do we do let's take the box I'm gonna do the box gold box Oh, wow, what is all that? Oh, is this jade? It's cold. And it's a stretch. I think it's, are these like worry beads or, or is it just a, well, I guess it's a bracelet too. I don't know. What does it have this little thing on the end for? What is that for? Anyone know what that means? But look at that. Oh, it's beautiful color. Oh, it's definitely jade. Look at the, is that an inclusion or something? Or what is that? Oh, wow. Oh, my. Rock identifier and my presidium will tell me. That's beautiful. Wow. I don't know what to pick up next. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a brooch and it's not closed. And it looks, this is a back. It's very old. Look at that um, finding, how they attached it. And this is the front. I don't know if it's silver. I'm not thinking it is, but it might be. I have to do a lot of testing before I can do this. Oh, I just got a notice that came up on my phone that said today is my dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Bindi. You've seen a couple of videos of her. She's an Australian cattle dog, and she has like a mask, black around her eyes. Um, she's a sweetie, and she's my shadow. Uh, it says something in there. Let me get the loop. Oh, it's a patent. Patent, and then a big number following it. So this is old. This is definitely old, um, and I don't know, what are they? It's just a design. It's not grapes, is it? I don't know, I don't think so. But it's very long. Look at it in my hand. It's a, uh, hmm, three. Here, tape measure. Three inches, I was right. I'm pretty getting pretty good at eyeballing this stuff. <laughs> And what is this? This is strange. This is like a mesh. It needs to be cleaned. This is a mesh, um, wire mesh. And it's tangled. They're all tangled up at the top. What is the deal? I don't, oh, it has a tag. Okay, let's see. Let me get my loop out. Okay, I'm back. To, I had to take a quick stop 
Uh, this is a, um, needs to be cleaned up, but it's a metal, it's a mesh chain with an extender and there's a tag. It has a lobster claw clasp, but it looks really, it looks old. And it says B-A-E-R-S-F, bear, like the name B-A-E-R, like, you know, somebody's last name, S-F, like San Francisco, and a copy mark, copyright mark. You see? Okay. So it's by some artist named Bear, or some company named Bear, and it's got two, oh, wow, this is really, it's got two pieces of metal, this and this, and they hang, I guess it just hangs like that. And it's like brass, and I bet, I don't want, I wonder if that's silver. Um, oh, there's something else. Look at this. That says MB and a copyright. So it's somebody named, first initial named M, last name B. So I have a hint when I go looking. Wow, I have to check this out. This is, I wonder if it's a brass and silver. Going to, have to test it too. Wow, and it's um. Some of you may know who that is. I don't. I don't know everybody. I know a lot. I know enough to be dangerous, <laughs> as they say. Um, wow. So it has two tags on it, and it doesn't. I mean, it's pretty, you know. Uh, but wow, I wonder. Ooh, I might be holding hundred dollars in my hands for all I know. Um, And it seems to be about 18 inches long. It's fairly long with an extender. And what is, oh, look at this. I have another one that's a Roadrunner that's silver and it's signed by somebody. And I can't remember who it is, but this is a little bit different. Uh, oh, this has gold on the feet. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Gold just on the feet. The body is like pewter. Wow, this is strange. Oh, and it has a mark too. <gasps> this is cool. I love detective work. Um, I love looking stuff up. That's my favorite part of this job is when I find something. Okay, I'm looking. It says Flor Florenta. And under that it says, oh my God, this is hard to read. Florenta of California, but California is abbreviated C-A-L-I-F, which is an old abbreviation for California before the postal codes. Um, and then some incorporated a copyright mark and something else I can't read. And I'm gonna have to be able to read it. It might tell me more about it. Florenta. F-L-O-R-E-N-T-A. Does anyone know that? Roadrunner with gold feet. <laughs> and you can see the size of it. It's probably about two and a half inches, maybe. It's, got, it's very long. And there's the back, once again. Cool. Okay, wow, this is really interesting. Um, this is, oh, what is this? This is a piece of broken something. Doesn't, I think it latched and the latch is missing. Oh, well, you can't have all good stuff, I guess. Uh, this is um, a brass, not copper, looks like a brass, very thin, ornate brass bracelet that would just wrap around your wrist and there's nothing to close it. But if you close it, it would be so small. Oh my gosh, I don't think anybody could wear it. Uh, well, I don't know. have to Google all that. Okay, one more thing. Well, maybe two more things. It looks like there's a pair of earrings in here. Okay, let's see what we got. Two, uh, this might be cat's eye. Oh, I don't know. No, not cat's eye. I'm gonna to have to ask the rock identifier what that is. 
because it's cold. And let's see what this is. Anything back here? Take this off. Well, doesn't want to come off. There. Uh, does I'm sorry, I'm out of the picture because I was looking in my with my bare eyes at it because I can't make anything out. I don't see anything, but I do see some writing on the um, this thing. Let me look at it. Well, I thought I did. Hmm. No. Okay. Let me just check the other one. Sometimes earrings are only on one. Yeah, because I don't see anything on the back of the earring. Let me look. Let me look at the back of this one. Yeah, see, there's writing. I... See, you gotta check, gotta check both of them. There's a piece of information for you. You never know. It's Monet. Oh, wow, okay. So these are Monet button, and I don't know what the stone is. I'm gonna have to, I'll put them in here. I don't wanna lose. And what is this? The last, last box, last thing. Ta-ta. Uh, what's that say? That says some initials in a jeweler, St. Louis, Missouri, and the phone number has no area, no area code. It's just a number, but that you know that's old. <laughs> the box alone. Um, oh, these look like sterling. Uh, they're cool. They're very. Uh, oh, they're mid-century, aren't they? Sterling silver clip buttons. I don't see any marks but i think they need to be cleaned really badly i'm gonna clean them up because they sure feel like silver and if they are they're a little bit of weight but they're very uh, abstract see that very mid scent cool very cool and what is this oh my oh oh now this is old. Wait a minute. Let me get it here facing out. There's a brown stone. This is a watch fob. See the bottom of it? That's the weight that holds it. Oh my gosh. It looks like it has a diamond in it. I wonder if it is. <laughs> and it's just so ornate. Is it silver? I don't know. And let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, there's something you pull I guess you pull that down to, I don't know, attach it to something. I have no idea. I don't know anything about watch fobs. I just know what they are. I don't know how they attach or work. And I know that this is a weight. I, I have a single gold one somewhere that's for sale on my uh, eBay store, which is Cape Castaways. And um, wow, guys, let's look at this for down, here. I want to show you this. This is really something. Oh, well, we're not going in the right direction. I have to come back a little bit. Still can't get it. Can you see the detail work? Wow. And then there's the, what I think is the diamond. And I, it's, there's too much light and it's telling me there's not enough light. But this is a brown stone. I'll have to check that out. And I'll have to check it out to see if it's actually silver. Wow. Ooh, spectacular. Wow, what an ending. Cool. I'm, I'm coming up with some pretty good endings lately. That's really neat. Well, anyhow, uh, that was the end of the small estate that I bought and uh, jewelry from an estate. And um, I hope you enjoyed opening them with me because it was uh, there looks like a lot of research to be done here. Jade bracelet. What on earth is B A E R? This thing that's signed twice. Uh, this necklace, I think, might be something. This was cool. Just pretty. It's a costume, but it's very pretty. Um, this brooch. I'm not sure who Giovanni is. 
Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Anyhow, this is going to be fun for me today. These are silver earrings over here. Remember these? These are cool. Oh my gosh. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you are interested in anything, give me a uh, email at castawaygirl7 oops, at gmail.com. And I will be glad to talk to you about it and give you a price as soon as I decide what these things are. <laughs> and the watch, the Seiko watch. Um, anyhow, uh, and if you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe so you can get more videos like this. Sometimes I'm having mega sales. Sometimes I'm just showing jewelry. Sometimes I'm going to the beach. Uh, sometimes I'm going, I do live in Florida. Sometimes I'm going um, to a casino. Uh, I'm doing all different things. Uh, cooking. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, you never know what I'm going to be doing, but primarily this is my, uh, oops, I did it again. And that's the, every time I say that, I think of Britney Spears. <laughs> Just, which is terrible. <laughs> Anyhow, see you in the next video, guys. And please comment, like, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it trying to get to 500 subscribers.